Welcome as you join us in an exciting Dominion Power Kingdom Experience Holy Spirit Authority Pack session brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center and Forbes Global. Now, as you join us in this online Kingdom of God seminar now in progress with God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, we are transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up. I want to begin this segment with this topic I want to talk to you about seeking the kingdom first part one kingdom objective one nothing is more dangerous than religion two Christianity is a religion three the motivation for Ben Laden What's religion? Four, religion keep people away from the kingdom. Five, religion is a substitute for the kingdom. Six, Hitler believed that he was called by the Christian God. Seven, the motivation of religion is destructive. Do you not know that religion is a search? Religion make people pursue search. Their belief, religion believe that they find the real thing. That is why people stop searching. All human humanity are searching for the kingdom of God. If you believe, you find it. But you have not find it, then you will think that you have that is do not satisfy your life. Why? Because religion is empty, busy, full of activity to keep you Preoccupy, steal your time, steal your money. Religion are full of program, project, things that means the project and that religion are full of is about lighting candle, about rituals, about incense. Do you not know? that everything you need is in the kingdom of God. I want you to understand the differences between the kingdom of God and religion. I want to explain to you about kingdom first. I want to make a few statements. I want to define kingdom first. The word kingdom first means order. Get your family, get your business, get your life in order. The number one thing means order. Before all others, to respect your time, to align your life with the will of God and His privatization. Key of life is priority means your you must identify the correct right thing in your life. Jesus Christ identify for all of us what is the correct, what is the right thing for us to do. The right thing for us to do for all humanity. There are 8.2 billion people, human, living in 2020, 24. Jesus Christ gave us the answer to simple life, kingdom life living. 
every human is motivated by the same thing. The same message is for you. This is your message. Do you not know that you are motivated by survival? Making a living going on a job. Whether it be massage therapy, interpretation, office manager, electrician, police officer, social media, whether it be truck driver, or whether it be a professor, or whether it be registered nurse, or whether it be sales representative, or whether it be market manager, marketing manager, or construction manager, project manager, real estate position, whether it be a specialty or software engineer or information security analyst. Somewhere you will be working to pay your bill. According to the Lord Jesus Christ, is that is not your priority. According to the king, the manufacturer, the one who made you, that is not your priority. Write this down, please. Matthew 6, 25 and KJV. This is very important. <laughs> Heavy stuff. Therefore, a statement made by Jesus, therefore I say to you, I'm talking to you, do not worry about your life. What you will eat, what you will drink, what about your body, what you shall put on, where you shall live, what car you shall drive. Do not worry about your body, what you shall put on about your life is not life more than food. It's not life more than body, your body or your clothing. Stop worrying, stop worrying, stop worrying about your life. Jesus Christ defined what is your life. Wow, it's to you. What we shall eat, what we shall drink, what our body will wear, what, where we shall live, what type of house we should live in, our, our roof or our head. Jesus defined life as that. Said life is more important than these things. Your food, your clothes, your body. Life is more important than these things. Write this down please. Matthew 12. 22 and KJV. Then Jesus said to his disciple, a disciple is a student. Jesus had a Jesus had disciples. A disciple is a learner, is an academic word. Then he said to his student, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life. What you should eat or your body, what you shall wear. Do not worry. I want to define that word to you. The Greek word for worry is mamanolo, means care, means anxious, means concern, emotional attachment, lack of faith in God, lack of understanding of your life. Lack of trust in God, great sovereignty, or provision. You doubt God's faithfulness, His ability to handle your circumstances. Matthew 6, 33 and KJV. But seek ye first. Prioritize your time. But seek ye but first the kingdom. The kingdom is a country. The kingdom is a government. Seek the kingdom of God first. Now, you grow up in the Western world, born in the Western world, and you may not understand what a king is. The word kingdom 
of God means any place, any territory where the Lord Jesus Christ as King and Lord of your life. It do not mean a church. Many people get on the church kingdom this. Many people are on the kingdom this. It mean kingdom of God mean any place where Jesus Christ rule and reign as Lord and Christ. Now, there is interchangeable, Jesus used these words, kingdom of heaven. What the kingdom of heaven mean? The kingdom of heaven, it is the authority, the throne of a monarchy, which is the throne of a king, the authority, the sovereignty, the glory, the power, the territory, where the king rule and reign as king. But seek ye first God's government. Seek ye first God's kingdom. You know, many times Jesus say the kingdom of God is like, the kingdom of God is like a hidden treasury. It is the most important thing in life on earth. It's like treasury. It brings satisfaction. It brings joy. It brings righteousness. For the kingdom of God is not meat nor drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the power of the Holy Ghost, in God's Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God, it is first, should be first in your life. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. I want to define to you what is righteousness. I want to give you an education you'll never forget. The word righteousness, it is, it is a legal word. It means right. Mean righteous. Mean right standing with God. Right relationship. Right alignment. Right fellowship. Right relationship with God. Seek the relationship with God first before you do anything. Honest righteousness and everything, everything will be in one place. Do not worry. About 150,000 people die each year of stress worry release. You get credit that you can't pay for. You get bills and what you see with your eye, your eyes flash more on things that you, what you want, you don't need. You must live a God-given life, looking to God for His provision, for His protection over you and your family. It did not say seek politics. It did not say seek the Republican Party or seek the Democratic, or seek a political body. It says seek the kingdom. A kingdom is different from democracy. In democracy, you vote your representative. In the kingdom, the king is born king. The kingdom of God rules over all. God has established his holy throne in the heaven. It's true, it do not mean a chair or seat. It means the authority, the dominion, the power of God. He established it in the heavens. And his kingdom, his government, there are 165 government Two country are one is the Holy See and Palestine who are observers in the UN. The UN do not recognize the kingdom country of God on earth, which rule all 
government, all prime minister, all mayor, all judges, or everyone on earth, the kingdom of God rule o all. Jesus Christ's first inaugurate message was from that time on Matthew 4 17 Jesus began to preach what did he preach he preached repentance repent do not mean you go to an crusade an altar and go and bring up your past sin repentance mean change your heart change your mind this Kingdom Seminar has been brought to you by Global Diploma College Center to all the ambassadors in the Embassy Centers. Matthew 24, 14 declares, And this Gospel of the Kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then shall the end come. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. We want to thank and appreciate all our subscribers and viewers all over the world. Thank you so much for being partners with us in proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and click that notification bell for the update videos. God bless you and your families. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone, King of kings and Lord of lords.